Okay, let's practice algebra by solving this problem. And this is something that uh, all algebra students need to know how to do. And let's take a look at the problem, and then we're obviously going to solve this here in just one second. So we want to know where these two lines intercept. So I have a line right here, or a uh, linear equation, y equals x plus 2, and that's represented by this blue line. And then we have another line over here, y equals negative x, and that's the yellow line right here. Now, if we kind of look at this uh, graph, we can see that these two lines are going to intersect right around this point right there. Okay, so what is this x, y point? This is the problem. Now, I'm not going to give you any more information than this because I want to kind of see if you know what's going on and if you can solve this particular problem. Okay, You uh, definitely need to be able to solve a problem like this if you're taking any sort of algebra course. So if you know how to do this problem, pause the video and put your answer into the comment section. And of course, we'll compare notes in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are having a difficult time with math, or maybe you've uh, had a tough time with math for several years, uh, first of all, I want to tell you, it doesn't have to be that way. Okay, There is no such thing as a bad math student. Okay, If you have the desire to learn math, you can be successful. Okay, so I'm here to tell you that. I've been teaching math for decades. What you need is to uh, get the kind of instruction that breaks things down in very simple, bite-sized, clear and understandable uh, pieces. And that's my teaching style. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out. Now, if you are preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, High Set, uh, TASC, uh, ACT, SAT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACE, or CLIP exam, Alex exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you must check out my homeschool math courses. We just came out, uh, voted number one. We just won a huge national uh, kind of contest. Um, as a number one homeschool math curriculum for middle and high school math. We're very excited about this. We're going to be sharing that announcement here uh, soon. So check out our homeschool math program. Uh, now, if you don't have any math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But here's the deal. If you want great grades in math, if you're like, yeah, I want my A's and A pluses, well, you have to learn how to take great math notes. So start improving your notes and everything will get better. Okay, so uh, if you think you know what to do here, go ahead and pause the video and work on this. It should take you all of about a minute or two uh, to do, but let's go ahead and get into it now. So what is the topic we are dealing with? Okay, it starts with an S. Okay, so what is the topic? Well, if you said systems, then you would be right. Matter of fact, if you said systems, you're like, I think we're talking about systems. So I got to give you a little happy face for being engaged. You're absolutely right. We're talking about systems, specifically linear systems. Okay. Now the whole idea uh, of systems, when you're studying at the basic algebra level, is what we're trying to do effectively is find the inter uh, the intersection point of two lines, two or more lines. So here I have one line, okay, and of course this is the equation to this line here, and here I have another line. What I'm trying to do is find or to see if in fact these two lines intercept. If they do cross at a particular point, that means that the, this system has a solution. Okay, so now the way we write this mathematically is we put these little brackets here. We're going to put our first line uh, here in this equation, and then we'll put the equation for our second line. So this is a system. Now I'm kind of skipping a lot of things here, but uh, effectively, if you understand kind of what I'm talking about, then you're good to go. So what we're trying to do here is solve this system. And this system, the solution to the system is going to be some x, y point, but that's going to represent the point of intersection. Okay. So anyways, here is the system. Now, if this kind of cleared things up for you, then we want you to go ahead and solve, or I, I want you, not we, I want you to solve this system. Can you solve this system? All right, let's talk about uh, how you solve systems. But before we get into um, some of the primary techniques to solve systems. One of the first techniques you can use to solve systems is called the graphing method. Okay, now this method is not that uh, practical, but you do need to uh, learn this in algebra. And uh, the graphing method is basically, uh, it is what it says, okay? You graph each line. So here I have the graph of this line, 
and here I have the graph of this line, and then you look. So we would want to do this on graph paper, and we would actually uh, look to see uh, what is the point that the two lines uh, intercept. So we'd go to our graph paper, and then we'd kind of write that point down. So that's the graphing method. It's kind of an introductory uh, method to uh, solving systems, but it's not a practical method. What we need is kind of algebraic uh, methods to solve this system, and that's what I'm going to talk about uh, right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so there's actually other techniques uh, that we can use to solve uh, systems, but these are the two primary ones you learn uh, in basic algebra. So the first is the substitution uh, technique, and the second is the elimination or linear combination technique. You need to know both. Uh, some students get partial to substitution method that I love the substitution method. So I want to do every single problem using the substitution method and I'm going to use this. No, you can't you, you can't be that way, okay? Uh, it's okay to have a preference, right? Now, sometimes when you see a problem, um, there, there really isn't a, kind of an obvious way where they use a substitution or elimination or li linear combination method to solve, but you need to know both techniques, okay? And you need to be good at both techniques. But in this particular problem, the clear wor uh, winner here is the substitution. Well, you know what? Actually, I take it back. It's not even the clear win uh, winner. You could do this. Um, matter of fact, now when I think about it, you can actually do this uh, easily with um, with uh, elimination uh, uh, linear combination method. So both, again, these are both techniques, but I'm gonna use the substitution method. Okay, so here we have uh, y equals negative x and y equals x plus two. So I'm saying that y is equal to negative x. Y is the same thing as negative x. So why don't we substitute or replace this y for negative x, okay? So I'm gonna replace this y for negative x because I know y is the same thing as negative x. And when I do that, I'm gonna end up with this equation right here. So instead of y is equal to x plus two, I'm gonna end up with negative x is equal to x plus two, okay? Just replace this y with negative x, and then I have x plus two. So let's go ahead and solve this particular equation for x. So I have negative x is equal to x plus two. I'm gonna subtract x from both sides of the equation. I'm gonna get negative two x is equal to two, divide both sides of the equation by negative two, I get x is equal to negative one. So this is just basic algebra. Uh, hopefully you're able to follow me here. If uh, you're confused about what I'm doing to this, then you need to you know, really rewind and go back to more basic equations. Uh, systems is probably a little bit too advanced for you right now. But anyways, we see here that x is equal to negative one. Okay, so perfect. So remember, we're looking for this x-y point of intersection. We just determined the x uh, part of that problem, that's negative one. Okay, so now I need to determine the y problem or the y com uh, coordinate of this point. Okay, I already have the x point, the x coordinate, it's negative one. So remember that y is equal to negative x and we have y uh, uh, equals x plus two. So I can use either one of these equations to solve for um, uh, y. So I'm gonna use this equation, that's super easy. Y is equal to negative x, so let's go down here. So I'm gonna just pull that equation from the system, y is equal to negative x. I'm like, okay, uh, y is equal to negative x, I now know that x is equal to negative one. So I'm gonna plug in for x right here, negative one to solve for y. So y is gonna be equal to, be careful here because there's negative signs, a negative of a negative one. Okay, I'm plugging in negative one for x. So uh, negative of a negative is a, p a positive. So y is equal to a positive one. So we have x is equal to negative one. Y is equal to positive one. And this is our x, y point. Okay, again, that's the point of intersection. So we're going to represent it as uh, negative one, one. Okay, so that is the answer. Well, let's see this graphically. Okay. So here is our lines, y equals x plus two, y equals negative x. So right there, this point right there is negative one and one, okay? Now, how many of you got this right? If you're able to do this right, I don't care what method you use, whether it was the combination, elimination, substitution method, uh, maybe even uh, the graphing method. If you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a nice happy face with the good old 1984 Mohawk an A plus and 100%. Uh, Matter of fact, I'm feeling pretty good today despite my crackly voice, but I'm gonna throw in a few uh, stars so you can have an extra special day. 
Okay, I remember getting stars way back in the first grade in 1975, I believe that was. But uh, I just remember feeling great about myself. So hopefully, you know, if you got this problem right, hey, uh, feel great about yourself. Now, if you didn't even know what to do, if you got it wrong, but now you understand, well, listen, you know, take some of these stars and feel great as well. The whole point of me doing these videos is for you to learn, okay? Making mistakes is a part of the learning process. You just want to learn from your mistakes. So if you are having trouble, uh, troubles, um, or trouble or troubles, whatever the case might be, uh, solving system problems, then you need to really make sure you understand what a system is and then kind of build up your skill sets for that. So let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel and my algebra playlist on systems. But if you really thoroughly want to understand this stuff, you probably want to start sign up for one of my algebra courses. But uh, if this little video helped you out in some small way, then go ahead and help me out by smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on, I've been on YouTube for uh, 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math, uh, calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my uh, content. Uh, again, I really try to explain math in a super clear and understandable way. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.